All public gatherings are banned and schools and universities closed until April the 3rd. Mr Johnson said the British people were only allowed to leave their homes for basic necessities. Prime Minister Mohidin Yassin had announced a partial lockdown of the country. It starts today and will be lifted on March 31st. Recently, a new infectious disease has surfaced named coronavirus, aka COVID-19. It has now become a worldwide pandemic causing several countries to undergo lockdowns. This has caused many foreigners to not be able to enter the country, thus making it hard for travellers to enter the country and also explore the country. This is Simariski and today I'll be travelling to the infected countries. I'm going to bring you through the process of checking in my baggage all the way until I arrive to the country. Trust me, this is a bad idea. Oh well. Bye bye. Give me no one, row fiber. We have finally made through the security and now we are heading to our gate. We're waiting for our flight which is at 5.30. Surprisingly, this airport is very very quiet. I think it's because of the recent outbreak. Heading to eat sort of, of late lunch, our last meal in Singapore. One cool fact about Changi Airport, there is a sunflower garden, there is a cactus garden, there's also a swimming pool. These are the steps that I do to protect myself against this infectious virus. Number one, washing my hands more frequently so that my hands will be free of germs at the same time staying clean. Number two, using hand sanitizer more frequently. I use hand sanitizer so that I can sanitize my hand. Number three, I try my best not to touch my face, especially my eyes nose and mouth. Trying to resist an itch is very hard so whenever I want to touch my face, I will remember to sanitize my hand before touching my face. Number 4. Avoid crowded places. Sounds counterproductive since I'm going to Bangkok which is well known for their massive population but what I've been doing is to avoid any physical touch. Example like handshakes. Deny. De -de -de -deny. One of the safety things that we have to do is just to sign this declaration form to declare that you have not been to any of the infected countries for the past 14 days. So it's quite simple though. You just have to sign this travel declaration form and you're set to go. Nothing else to do as part of like travelling. That's all. And we're just waiting for departure. Safety first. It's not a must for you to use a mask but I'm just using it for safety reasons. successfully took off. So we are given this arrival card, not because of the virus. It's just a normal procedure that we have to sign before arriving at destination. We have finally arrived at Suvarnabhumi Airport. There we go. This is the train man. Sit down. We have reached Azo Hotel. just lying on my bed over here. There has been a recent news. I have to be quarantined after I reach in Singapore. I'll be given a letter of SHN, which is also known as stay home notice. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go to school for 14 days. More time for myself, more time for holidays. I don't know whether to call it a good or a bad thing. The news said that anyone came back from ASEAN will need to have the SHN quarantine. ASEAN is like this alliance, eight or seven countries alliance. So currently, I'm not having any of the symptoms. As long as I wash my hand, sanitize my hand, stay clean and avoid crowded places, I think I'm fine. It's only my first day man and this new just came up. It's gonna ruin my entire trip. But then it's okay. So I'm gonna enjoy while it lasts over here. <sighs> right, so we are at the airport right now and we are heading to Singapore. 14 days quarantine. Let's go. <laughs> Malaysia right now is under lockdown. It's day one of Malaysia's movement control order. To recap, in a key effort to stem the spread of the coronavirus, Prime Minister Mohidin Yassin had announced a partial lockdown of the country. It starts today and will be lifted on March 31st. All Singapore citizens that come in will have to be self-quarantined at home for 14 days. So we are part of it. Recently, there's a lot of important cases of coronavirus, which means that Singaporeans go outside of Singapore and bring the virus back to Singapore. The airport over here is very, very quiet. 
recently there has been news that says that Sugan Nabumi, our this airport is like a ghost town. There's like nobody over here, which is true lah. Look at that, look at Biana. There's not a lot of people over here. Even yesterday when we went to Talat Nyon, it was very very quiet and very very eerie. It looks like a night market, but then without the people. Alright, so just now we only had to sign our travel declaration to say that we are leaving this country and going back to Singapore and that's all. Nothing very important to do. My throat is not hurting at all. So, that's a good sign. We are inside the aeroplane right now, going back to Singapore. Let's go. Back to reality, back to home. Alright, at the arrival in Singapore, I was given this stay home notice. Form. It says that the government of Singapore requires you to remain in your place of residence at all times for a 14 day period under the stay home notice measure. And it's basically saying that you have to stay home for 14 days. And I had to sign this form over here which says that I have to write down my full name, my passport number and my phone number. They will give me this uh, message every single day, every 3 hours of the day that states that I have to turn on my location to let them know that I'm actually at home and not roaming outside of my house. As long as you don't go outside of your house, like don't have any contact with the outside world, that's basically it. I have to stay home for 14 days because this COVID-19 only shows after 14 days. So within this 14 day period, I, I cannot have any contact with the outside people so that I do not spread the disease to them. Not saying I have the disease, but this is just a precautionary measure. The weird thing about this virus is that you wouldn't know that you get the virus after 14 days. So within that 14 day period, you can go out of your house and you can infect other people without you knowing. That's why this virus is very contagious because from this one person, it can spread to these 10 people and these 10 people without knowing that they have the virus can spread to another 100. And without these 100 people knowing, they can just spread it to a bigger community. It's good that Singapore is doing this to contain this virus, but this is taking a toll on us. The fact that we can't blame anyone because we are all in this together. And I believe if we all practice good personal hygiene, we can get through this together. Let's go. Today is my fourth day of self-isolation. Just now morning, I had a very very dry throat so I had to drink a lot of water and now my throat feels a lot better. The symptoms of COVID-19 are dry cough and also fever and it also can mutate into pneumonia which is shortness of breath. Alright, update about my school works and everything. My form teacher have been calling me every day to check on my health. Everything was okay, surprisingly. I still have a few more days to get through. Today is only the fourth day of SHN. Currently, I'm just getting really, really bored at home. Nothing else to do, just to do homeworks and like revise all my school stuff. Yeah, uh, basically just like stay home and sleep and everything. <sighs> so boring. What you guys think about this new setup? Uh, I'm just doing this for a temporary only. So yeah, it's just a cool uh, backdrop behind me. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, that's my update. Nothing really much I have to do right now. Stay tuned for my Bangkok vlog. So it will be coming out after this video. That is it for this video guys. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up. This is Mariuski, signing off. Bye-bye.